The E in, in surge stands for Einstein, and Einstein's theory of general relativity, which he knew back in 1917, says that space, time, and matter are co-relative, that you can't have one without the other, that space, time, and matter came into existence together. Once there was no space, once there was no time, once there was no matter, and then bang, it all left into existence out of absolutely nothing. What's nothing? Aristotle had a good definition of nothing. He said, nothing is what rocks dream about. That's nothing. No thing, no matter, no space, no time. Nothing spatial, physical, or temporal. In fact, Einstein didn't like this when he first discovered it. You know what he did? He put a cosmological constant into his equations. What's a cosmological constant? It's a fudge factor into his general relativity equations to make the equation turn out so the universe is static and eternal rather than having a beginning and expanding. And he did this in 1917. Well, some other mathematicians in the 1920s were looking at Einstein's equations going, Al, you seem to have an algebraic error in here. You know what the great Einstein did in order to, in order to avoid an absolute beginning to the universe? The great Einstein divided by zero. Now, what are you, ter yeah, what are you told in third grade? Never divide by zero. You can go straight to hell for dividing by zero. <laughs> Don't divide by zero. You know, Einstein did that. You know why? Because he didn't like where his equations were leading. Where were they leading? To God. He didn't like that. Then in 1929, Hubble discovered the expanding universe. And he called Einstein up and he said, Al, re you remember what you calculated in your general relativity equations back in 1917? I am observing what you calculated mathematically. Why don't you come out to Mount Wilson and you can look through my telescope and see the expanding universe for yourself. So in 1931, Einstein went out to Mount Wilson and he looked through Hubble's telescope. In fact, who's that right behind him? That's Hubble, see the pipe? Einstein saw the red shift in the light. He got off the telescope, and at some point later, he said the cosmological constant was the greatest mistake in my professional life. The universe did have a beginning. He said, all I'm interested now is finding the mind of God. The rest are details. Now, Einstein was not a Christian. Einstein denied being an atheist. He also denied being a pantheist. So nobody really knows what Einstein personally believed, but his equation showed that there is a spaceless, timeless, immaterial beginning or beginner to this universe. In fact, this theory has been shown so accurate to more than five decimal points that it's virtually certain that he's right.